Let me just give a little warning that this is going to probably be a profanity-laced post game. I'm trying to be professional because I'm hoping my uh, hoping my show will get picked up by the Yes Network. Uh, I'm full of shit. I'm not hoping that. Nor do I really care if I'm going to offend some of you because I'm going, I, I cannot tell you how mother friggin' angry I am right now. See, I was good. I kept it to mother friggin' about this Brooklyn Net team. I cannot stand this 2012-2013 Brooklyn team, of which I had such great expectations, such high hopes... And after 11 and 4 start and feeling cocky, I have been nothing but aggravated with the constant bullshit ups and downs, inconsistencies, and flat out unprofessionalism of this basketball team. They are a bunch of goddamn disgraces in their own building. Yet another punch in the mouth from a team that comes into Barclays, smacks them in the mouth, and yet again, they fold. A 34-20 fourth quarter by this fraudulent hoax bunch of pansy-ass basketball players. All of them. Where do we start? To me, I told all my buddies... He got four to now. Obviously, I was, I was still steaming over the Philly loss in which he went wire to wire losing to them. And it was my opinion that if they had won the Philly game, then they would end this stretch in first place. And here they are, even losing the Philly game, they still had that chance tonight if they just took care of business. Now, the Atlanta Hawks came into the game now forget about you know, obviously the Atlanta Hawks pose problems, but they came into the game fifteen and eighteen, and the Nets had four days off. And what do the Nets do? They come out and they play no defense from start to finish. From the opening tap, they were extremely fortunate to be up by three in the first quarter. Atlanta missed at least four open shots. They did not guard the perimeter well. Very fortunate to only be down by one at the half. And then here they are taking a two-point lead into the fourth. And then this second unit, this second unit, Keith Bogans, was absolutely atrocious. I don't, let me look at his stats. C.J. Watson, pathetic. Blatch, horrendous. The whole entire second unit was awful. Bogans was one for four, threw up a couple of air balls and turned the ball over twice. Blatch, two more turnovers. You know, his numbers don't look bad, three for six, but he was bad. Watson, one for six, including an air ball and a turnover. Toledovich, two for five. Second unit in the fourth quarter was absolutely atrocious, but again... You know, it's funny because Ryan Rucco asks Jim Spinarco, you know, what happened? What happened? What happened? It's now what? Let's see. How many games have we played? The, the, the Brooklyn Nets have played a total of 38 and 28. That's what? 66 basketball games? For 66 games, this is a bunch of friggin' pansies in their own building. What happened? They got bitch slapped in the fourth quarter. A couple of friggin' dunks. A couple of defensive lapses, more than a couple. And they fold in their own building. Now, go back to the entire game. Listen, an ongoing theme. Gerald Wallace cannot finish. Something has to... I love Gerald Wallace. I want him to play. But he was one for eight tonight. And you know what? Most of the misses were layups. The guy cannot finish. Something has to get done. You cannot have Wallace and Evans on the floor. I say that. Evans had his best game 
of his net career. Evans, 14 points, 22 boards. Love his energy. But where's the energy from here? Where's the big guy? The big guy was 7 for 19. Dropped a couple of passes. He only shows one turnover. But I'll tell you what. Could have been a couple of more. Talking about Lopez. Uh, 17 very quiet points. And, of course, his six baby rebounds. Six baby rebounds. Um, Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson, 7 for 16. Right? At 13 points to the half, 5 in the second half. 5. This is a bunch of freaking babies. They're a bunch of babies. There's nobody on this net team that that can get, and get in the guy's face that can take, give a hard foul. Look at some of the fouls in the fourth quarter. Blow-bys and uts. Blow-bys. Now, listen. Atlanta made some weird shots that really kept them in the game. They hit two long threes. The Horford flip. But there's my point. Where's a hard foul? Where is the per where's a tough personality? You know what it is, Ryan Rucco, when you ask Jim Spinarco, what what happened? What happened is the Nets were the Nets. Soft pansies, collapsers in their own building. Headed out for an eight game trip. Now, you could tell me you want to be an optimistic fluffy fluff net fan and oh let's go, Brooklyn, will we group? You want to you want to play that game? Then you can. You could tell me they could beat Detroit tomorrow. Sure, they should beat Detroit tomorrow. You could even say they'll beat Dallas. But then where are we going? Like, what, what do you think? Phoenix is going to be easy? I mean, that you, look at this trip. Let's take a look at this trip, shall we? Let's get this trip going here. And let's. And you tell me where the gimmies are. Okay. Now again, you you want to give you you want to take. The Detroit game tomorrow. I got songs playing on this freaking computer. Jeez and rice. Every time, everything you hit nowadays has to be like a song. All right. I'm going to give you the Detroit game, although I'm telling you right now, that ain't no gimme. You know, Detroit's not going to lay. Let me, if, let me remind you that Detroit took them to double overtime in their building. And the Nets struggled to beat them in Detroit the last time. So we're going to go to Detroit. Oh, oh, no, we're going oh, we to we're gonna beat Dallas. Dallas, who came into our building, had a 20-point lead in the fourth quarter. Dallas. Okay. And then we're going to the Clippers. Do you, do you, can you imagine trying to guard the Clippers? So, I don't optimistic, whatever. You want to say 1-2, and 2-1 two, two and one at that point? Then tell them. Do you know, Phoenix? You know, they did take care of Phoenix here. At Portland? No, sorry. At Denver? Nope. At Utah? Nope. Gets easier? At Cleveland? Maybe. Maybe if Kyrie's out, maybe that's a maybe that's a, a game they can win. But what a you got an eight game trip. So to me, I have to be honest and tell you three and five is you know, what else should I expect? Now that I think I've been saying this all along, they're a better road team, but these are not, you know, these are not easy road games, especially the length of time that they're gonna be gone. So they go three and five. And that's really what you should expect. You had a chance today. To get a good feeling, you haven't played in four days. You beat, you have a chance to beat a team that's in the race with you, and you come out and you shit the bed. You shit the bed. And except for Evans, I don't think anybody. I mean, I don't know if anybody else stands out. And defensively, the entire team just doesn't know how to play defense. They don't. They don't guard. They don't get back in transition. This, this is a bullshit loss. It's an unacceptable loss. You're supposed to come out here, take, find a way to win, and there you are. I mean, listen, you're up by two and going into the fourth. I'm thinking, all right, listen, I mean, I'd like to have a six, eight, nine point lead. Of course you would. But up two, you figure you're the home team, you're well rested, you're going to come out, and you're going to play sharp. And the second unit was absolutely hard. And, you know, the, the Hawks did what they did. I mean, the Hawks do what they do. They run. Um, they're athletic. Uh, Nets turn the ball over 16 times. Here we go again. More turnovers, and a lot of them bad ones. All turnovers are bad, but a lot, you know, Hawks only 11. Uh, fast break points. Ninth, I think it was 19 to six. You know, we just we just don't belong in in talks. We don't belong in talks for being a a team that oh nobody wants to play. But no. Everybody 
would like to play. The only team that wouldn't like to play Brooklyn is the Knicks because it would be embarrassing to lose them because they're the intra-city rivals. It's like the Yankees don't want to play the Mets because you can't, you can't, no good can come out of it. If you're if you're a Nick and you lose, you beat Brooklyn. You're supposed to. If you lose to them, forget about it. Other than that, who's afraid of who's afraid of the Brooklyn Nets in the first round? Who? Who's gonna say, oh man, we got to deal with Brook Lopez? You know, we got to deal with you know Darren Williams is playing better. I mean, he played well tonight. He didn't play badly. Although you know, he, you know, uh, four turnovers. I don't think that. I mean, if your point guard turns the ball over four times, I'm not happy. You know, four turno four turnovers, eight assists. You know, shot the ball well though, seven for fourteen. My disappearing act shooting guard, my nineteen million dollars shooting guard, had five points in the second half. Lopez was brutally soft. He got lit up by Al Horford. He dropped a few uh, passes. He had soft, soft hands around the uh, the rim when when you want him to grab something. You know, they got be eaten up alive by the Hawks. Smith was dominant. Um, even Don, I mean, Dante Jones had 13 points. Jeff Teague now coming off the bench, shot the ball horribly, but 15 assists. The Hawks had 30 assists. The Nets don't guard. And this, to me, is everything you need to know about the fraudulent Brooklyn Nets. Chance, go on a trip, feel good. Get one in your building, you're not home for 17 days, and you choke it up. This is who they are. Why should I be upset? I shouldn't be. I'm an idiot for being upset. Now, leave me alone.